Thank you, CICB, for inviting me to share with the audience on the um, development of the CSDI um, development in Hong Kong. Now, um, let me firstly explain what common spatial data infrastructure is. When each of these forwards is on its own, it is relatively easy to understand. But when they are put together, there is a special mean meaning. Let me try to explain it in layman terms. Common in here means sharing. Spatial means geographic coordinates, some are in two dimensions and some in three dimensions uh, with height coordination. Data refers to various types of data sets, such as address, planning data, census data, etc. In infrastructure, there's a portal with hardware and software services as a platform for storing the um, spatial data and perform various GIS functions so that the data can be shared and analyzed. Now, spatial data is the most important component in the CSDI. According to some research from the geospatial experts, more than 80% of the data has a spatial dimension, but most of them are scattered, not standardized, not shareable, and not specialized with geographic coordinates. Therefore, there is a need to specialize and standardize the data so that they can be shared, searched, and analyzed. Thus far, we have um, solicited about 320 data sets covering land information, education, health, community and social welfare data, etc. from 18 government departments. And we are continually exploring more data sets from various government departments. The CSDI is a uh, data driven portal which provides a one stop shop map based infrastructure for sharing with uh, various sectors such as the um, private, public sectors, um, academia, or general public, and to enable them to develop various types of map-based applications using GIS technologies. So in order to enable the developers to make use of our spatial data to develop these applications in an easy manner, we have provided some um, tailor-made and user-friendly tools or services in the uh, portal. For the map, uh, application programming interface map API GIS developers can retrieve retrieve um, the map to their client browser to develop their value added map based GIS applications. The advantage is that any updates on the map stored in the CSDI portal will also update those at the user's end. The geotagging tools is a simple tool that enables the uh, GIS developers to uh, specialize the data in an easy manner. For example, if you want to show the location of your offices on the map, you can uh, make use of this tool to add the geographic coordinates to the office's location and display them on the map so that they can be searched. Address uh, data infrastructure, geo address, will provide a unique 19-digit uh, code identifier such, such that um, addresses of different formats or a building at the corner of a junction with more than one addresses uh, naming can be identified. District-based spatial information dashboard is a type of uh, graphical user interface enables users to interactively visualize and query the spatial data available on the CSDI portal. Now, uh, the CSDI initiative is supported by the government delivered in the chief executive's policy addresses, financial secretary's budget, and the launching of the open data policy and smart city blueprint. Uh, 360 million has been approved of the appropriation bill this year for the development of um, CSDI, geospatial lab, and 3D digital map. Now, um, we have a uh, geodata store, which is readily available for access by the public. So you may ask, 
why do we need a CSDI portal? Because we already have a geodata store. Now this store is our alpha version of the portal. And at present, the spatial data released on the geodata store are in machine and read uh, an open readable format. Most are in their own standards and do not have APIs. So in order to enable all these data be shareable and usable by others across the board, there is a need to make sure that all the data to be shared on the portal are complied with the five basic CSDI standards, which include the provision of data specifications, metadata, APIs, and of course, the data must be specialized and in an open and machine readable format. Now, the overall uh, architecture of the CSDI portal would be on two uh, separate environments. The one for use within the uh, government will be designed to connect to an uh, intranet network using the government uh, private cloud services, while the one for the public will connect to an internet network using the government public cloud services. There are two categories of spatial data in the uh, CSDI, namely the framework spatial data and common shareable spatial data. Seven data themes have been defined for the framework spatial data, as you see on the left here, including land parcel building, administrative area address, transportation geographic name, and coordinate reference system. They provide the fundamental context to the city and are often used as the foundation for linking these common shareable data, which is normally demanded by multiple agencies and or the public to be used in their uh, specific applications. And examples of these uh, common shareable data are the pedestrian network, uh, public open space, etc. More types of framework spatial data, such as uh, elevation data, Awful photo photography, data, slope, uh, base map, etc., would be identified in the coming years. Development of spatial data infrastructure has proved very successful in many countries. Some examples include those in the United States, Singapore, and the United Kingdom, and, and all the development is led by the local government authorities. From these overseas experience, we see that there will be significant uh, benefits arising from the implementation of CSDI. So why is CSDI related to um, smart city development? When you're being asked where you are, you would say I'm at, say for example, you're now at CIC office. You wouldn't say I'm at 800 something meter north things or 800 something meter east things. In fact, it is this set of geographic coordinates linked up with the address or locations. Thus, instead of telling others the long number of digits of the coordinates, a simple address will serve the purpose. So development of smart applications requires geographic coordinates for supporting the um, development of smart city. Now, um, here is the uh, mission and vision of uh, CSDI. And in order to achieve uh, the vision and mission, a mandate has been given by the Steering Committee on Innovation and Technology, chaired by the Chief Executive, for the Development Bureau to set up this leadership and governance structure and to obtain the data from various bureaus and uh, departments. A CSDI Steering Committee has been set up under the Bureau to provide strategic directions for CSDI development, build an active data sharing and collaboration landscape within the government and oversee the uh, progress of the CSDI development. The Spatial Data Office, staffed by a, a multidisciplinary team, has been established in the Bureau in May last year 
to serve as an executive arm of the steering committee. With the support of the three working groups, including the data and application, portal working group, capacity building and promotion working group, they are mainly responsible for overseeing the building and development of the CSDI portal, identifying and prioritizing spatial data to support the development of the CSDI and monitoring the execution of the capacity building, outreaching and partnership initiatives. The um, uh, Survey Mapping Office of Lens Department mainly provides technical support to the Spatial Data Office for developing the portal and data stand standards. A common spatial data advisory committee is to solicit views and ideas from the non-government sector on how best to develop the CSDI that can suit the needs of our society and economy. Now, um, here is a full picture of the implementation schedule of the uh, CSDI. Earlier on this year, we have launched the interactive map dashboard of uh, COVID-19, which is a successful showcase of a spatial information dashboard. We have uh, trademarked a CSDI logo, as you can see on the left here, and we'll launch a CSDI website pretty soon. And we target to launch the portal with at least um, 320 uh, data sets for government and public use by the end of 2021 and 2022 respectively. And one of the most um, important spatial data sets, which is the 3D digital map covering the whole territory, will be launched in phases by end 2023. 20, um, the successful uh, development uh, of CSDI portal requir required an early engagement of stakeholders, thus making sure that what we deliver will meet the user's requirements as far as possible. Thus far, we have consulted various advisory boards, including the newly set up uh, Common Special Data uh, Advisory Committee, and have received all positive support and advices, which include um, releasing more government data sets beyond the development bureaus, family of departments, and private sector data, such as uh, real-time bus uh, arrival information and underground utilities on the CSDI portal as soon as possible. And more engage engagement with st stakeholders to better align the CSDI design with public expectation for the development of CSDI. So advices from the floor here will certainly be available for the development of CSDI. Therefore, um, one of our next steps is to launch a call for CSDI initiatives for the purpose of setting up a wish list of smart applications in the order of priority based on the feedback from various stakeholders, followed by the um, development of some proof of concept prototype applications to demonstrate the usefulness of spatial data and to identify the types of data that suits the needs of our society. Another major engagement activity is to establish a uh, geospatial lab, hopefully uh, before mid next year. The geo lab will be set up by the development bureau and run by an operator from a non-governmental organization. Our goal is to nurture a geospatial community or ecosystem so as to encourage the younger generation and startups to harness the use of spatial data to improve daily convenience and promote business opportunities. They will have collaboration with the geospatial technology partners, uh, professional bodies, academia, and entrepreneurs in providing trainings, workshops, and seminars so as to support the promotion of use of spatial data to the wider community. We will also organize various um, education programs such as um, arranging talks and our workshops for schools and institutes aiming to promote the use of spatial data as part of the STEM education advocated by the government. Some uh, very successful uh, examples of similar geolab are the GeoWish Vision Hub in the United Kingdom and the GeoWorks in uh, Singapore. 
public relations plan is something that can't be missed to promote uh, the CSDI initiatives through awards, events, and products launch, etc. Now, um, let me uh, share with you some potential CSDI applications from the land uh, development and construction uh, perspective. So during the territorial development strategy stage, we can tap on the up-to-date demographic and geospatial data to uh, project land, project the land requirement in future and review spatial planning uh, periodically. During the preliminary uh, feasibility study, we can identify heritage sites within the project so as to safeguard the heritage features. We can find the land records and property related information more easily and conveniently. During planning and engineering study, we can do prediction of the project area affected by flooding. To carry out urban design study and visual impact assessment to facilitate public engagement. Carry out air, vent, uh, air vent, uh, ventilation and noise assessment for better de decision making. Create uh, 3D animation of land cell sites and the surrounding for assisting land valuation and real estate management. During design and construction, make use of transport and traffic data to perform construction fleet management. In order to better serve the community, the government was looking for the best approach for its effective uh, dissemination of information related to the latest situation of the COVID-19 infection in Hong Kong. As many of the information related to COVID-19 are spatial data, the best way to disseminate the spatial information is to make use of a map. With the um, interactive map dashboard, it can convey spatial information by presenting location-based analytics using intuitive and interactive map uh, data visualizations on screen, which enables the public uh, to obtain geographic location information in a user-friendly manner. And with the aim to provide up-to-date local COVID-19 geospatial and epidemiological information and other information of public concern, data contributed by different departments and parties, including the Center of Health Protection, Hospital Authority, University of Hong Kong, etc., were incorporated into the dashboard with the Office of the Government Information Office provided open data support through their open data portal. As of today, three major enhancements of the dashboard were developed since its first launch in February. Different information and functions were provided in different versions of the dashboard to address the public concern and interest of the current situation. The dashboard has, attra has attracted um, substantial media coverage and its high view uh, counts of nearly 39 million has proved its popularity. And all the data collected can be migrated to the CSDI portal in future. Other potential um, applications into, uh, include door-to-door uh, -door journey planning and navigation and finding of uh, car parking spaces to identify uh, school nets, optimizing food bank services so, so that the food is delivered to those who need it most. We aim to launch the um, CSDI portal in 2022 to, to, the, to the public and the 3D digital map um, uh, before the end of 2023 and the uh, geospatial lab uh, by mid uh, next year. We hope to develop Hong Kong into a spatially enabled world city. So that's all from me for the time being. Thank you.